This is great. All right, we're back. I don't know if anybody's on right now. I will wait a second or two. Okay, we're back. We are back. Um, for those of you that are rejoining us, this is take two of um, hashtag stars at home. I like to pretend that this is like my lifestyle at home um, as I'm on day 18 of quarantine, self-quarantine. Um, but I was originally going to be painting and I didn't, I realized that I uh, don't have paints. And since we're self-quarantine, I can't go out. So do not um, leave your house, if, even if you need paints. But we're gonna give this a shot. And if any of y'all have questions um, for me regarding season three or even past seasons, um, I'll take a few breaks. But this is hashtag stars at home. All right. I don't know how he got here, but I'm gonna really give this a shot. I'm gonna, um, I see that there's like blue at the top. So we're just gonna. You know what, I never really liked washing brushes when I used to paint. Obviously I have this easel, because this was something that I thought I could do at one point. Uh, until I realized that maybe acting was a better way to go. Um, and then, okay, we're gonna do a little bit of pink. I know it's not quite hot pink, but. Something about like so. We'll just kind of blend it in, like so. Yeah, it looks about right. That easy. What's so fantastic about this? Is it anybody, anybody, had a little masterpiece on canvas? It's just a little bit of practice. Bob said anybody can put a masterpiece on canvas, and I feel like that is what exactly what I'm doing here. A little bit of the blue. A little more of the blue. Just tap a little color into the bristles. This little two-inch brush will do marvelous things. Watch here. Watch here. Watch out. Oh, it's wait. Fun. Just take the corner of the brush and just pull down. Something about like this. This one's called Island in the Wilderness. Uh, I felt like it was a fitting thing for uh, us. Well, for Emma. I feel like Emma is a bit of an Island in the Wilderness. And then also... Um, us as people in quarantine. Shout out to all the people, real talk, like that are out there putting their lives on the line to essentially save us as humanity. So thank you to the first responders to, hold on, hold on Bob. But real talk, thank you for the um, first responders, for the people, the nurses, the doctors, um, the grocery workers, the, you know, just anybody that doesn't have the luxury of being silly and painting with Bob Ross. Um, Mad respect. Ooh. Oh, my neighbor um, apparently has watercolors um, and some house paint. Uh, she answered a little late, so we're not quite there. Let's see if we can take some questions. Hi, everybody. Wow, y'all are really properly tuning in. We got Nalini. I'm getting a little shade from Maria Blanco, but guys, it's day 18, 19. I don't know. This painting is perfect for Trans Visibility Day. Yeah, I perfectly planned that. But, you know, not really, but I, I'm down. All right. Shout, shout out to the com camera operator, yes. Uh, hi, Megan. Let's see. These are doll. You know what? These are dollar store products. And I am proud of that. Um, all right. Well, none of y'all are giving any questions. I am also very sad that third season is going to be the last. Um, there should be a Vita season four. Another network should pick up the. Yes. Let's see. Uh, memorable outfit of all the seasons. Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I. You know, we have a really amazing. Uh, Hannah Jacobs is amazing. We had a lot of fun kind of creating all the looks, and I think Lynn gets to kind of have a lot of flair with her looks but Emma has very like just a bit more simplicity um but there's this leopard skirt because apparently I've gotten really into leopard lately that uh Emma gets to wear in season three during a queer senora which I'm sure y'all have seen in the um in the previews uh that I think is actually a really dope look and I also really really love the warehouse look the black kind of vampy look that 
All right, let's see what else we got, y'all. Are you happy with Emma's character development in the last few seasons? Yes. And I'm going to say this while I'm attempting to make these mountains. Um, yes. I, you know what, what I love about um, Emma's character development is I feel like you really see three different versions of her throughout the, throughout the seasons. Uh, you're going to see a really a completely different version of her. And I think us as people, we have these like moments of just transition and times that actually do change and changes in increments. It's not like you wake up one day and decide that everything's going to be different. And, um, and yeah, like I think we're going to see an Emma that's a bit more accepting of just accepting. I think the, the she came first season trying to f change things and trying to get in and get out. Second season trying to fix things and moving into a place of healing. And then this third season we're seeing what happens when she doesn't really forgive, but she accepts. And there's something really cool about that. And I think I know me as a person, I learned that a really valuable lesson that I'm, I feel like I'm still trying to learn and figure out. Um, oh, okay. So Bob has like moved on past me. Hold on. Um, well, I do have these uh, watercolors that seem like they might actually work better than uh, than this amazing uh, island I'm making. I don't know. These look like joints to me. But, all right. Um, all right, so now I had an assistant, but I don't know. This is not helping at all. This is it's not doing anything. All right, so now we're going to just, like, give this a little bit of, yeah, yeah. Oh, I feel like I needed, okay, hold on. I'm going to fix this, guys. This is going to work out really great. Because um, apparently, okay, if you just, like, blend it in a little bit, it um gives a good, um, oh, New Orleans, man, much love to New Orleans right now because, um, I spend part of my time there and it, it is, there's some real stuff happening. Um, yeah, that does not look at all like the mountain, but, um, Okay, well, let's see if he has any like words of encouragement. Take a little white and lift upward. And it'll okay. be little areas back here that look like a whole different plane and the white will end up looking like little trunks in the trees. Um, all right, let's go to the questions. <laughs> um, where are we? Highland, California, what's up? Shout out to the mariachi community in LA. Love to the nurses and the doctors. Yeah, man, keep killing it. All of y'all. Um, no shade, all love. I know, Marina, I get it. Uh, do I miss Miami? You know, I... I... I'm so happy to be from there. I'm happy that I left as well. Uh, and that's kind of that. I mean, I love, I'm, it's really hard for me not to be there with my family right now. I think that that's kind of been an interesting aspect of kind of just even being, it was just like I flew to work and found out that uh, in Vancouver that it was like, that they were closing it down and then I came back and then just the world was completely different from one flight to the other. So that was kind of a little hard. Yep, Dollar Star, hey. When does season of Visa premiere? So the season three of Visa premiere is April 26th. Um, very strong encouraging you guys to binge ahead of time because it is, I mean, I actually recently rewatched it and I was really, and I'm like was in it and still I feel like it carries like a really beautiful uh, moment in these times and it's just like fun um, and then uh, April 26th it premieres season 3 so you can watch it then and also April 1st the full first season of Viva will be free and available so the best thing y'all can do is tell everybody about it which is amazing um, alright any other questions let's see what was my favorite moment on the show? Stephanie. Uh, I feel like that last, um, like, 
the sex scene with Nico and Emma was actually really fun because even us as uh, actors were like, is it like so next episode? Like we didn't even know because that that episode was written kind of so late in in while we were shooting. Um, so we every episode we'd get, we're like, oh, this is the one where they're gonna get there, and then it never did. So we kind of had the same. Uh, just like suspense that I'm sure y'all did and it was it was really fun it was really 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 exhausting um all right let's see where we're at in this um uh, okay there's purple there's some purple I mean if anybody wants to um me to mail this to you and uh, just let me know I'll autograph it and um yeah a memento. all right wait, we're on to the trees guys So just, you know, if you paint the little happy trees, then it just makes, it just really brings the whole thing together. The whole painting um, starts making more sense as you paint the purple trees into this um, island landscape in the wilderness, which is amazing. Um, do we have any more questions? I can't wait to see her curly in season three. Yeah, that was really fun. Uh, you know, th that was actually a very, I, I, a few people have noticed that from the, uh, from the, uh, pre uh, the preview, because it's, you know, it's, it's a cool thing. You see this woman whose hair is like, her hair is such a big part of who she is and who she presents to the world. And with this season, we had kind of discussed it even from season one, at what point we would start kind of letting her natural hair texture show. Um, and it's a, it's a really, really, really cool episode and a really cool moment that we get to just play around with that and the idea of letting go of the perceptions that you have and the persona that you present to the world and letting kind of the elements take over. And also it was really humid the days we were shooting, so I don't think we really had much of a choice anyway, so it all worked out. Um, my favorite color is green. Um, yep, all the Emma fits. Let's see, if any of y'all have any other questions? Mm. See if there's anyone. Much love from Inglewood, thank you. Butterflies in my tummy, that's cute. I like your name. Um, you're a lefty. I knew it. There was something special about me. I'm not. It's it's the it's camera work. Uh, what do you think about Nico and Emma's relationship in comparison where she was with Cruz? I think what's interesting about um, her relationship with Cruz is that like no one's ever going to live up to the idea that you have of them. So she's had this kind of pie in the sky idea with somebody in their entire uh, her entire life, and it was this kind of love that she felt that she didn't deserve and was pushed away from, and then she got the opportunity to see what it looks like for real, and no one ever lives up to this image of you, so that's just a hard lesson to learn, and I think it was a really beautiful one, and hard, you know, but it's also, she survived it, and Cruz kind of brought her into a place where she could maybe be a bit more vulnerable with someone like Nico. Um, all right, where are we at, Bob? Okay, we got some yellow, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm missing, you guys are distracting me. Um, we got a little yellow. Any Lakers fans out here? All right. Little. I don't know what the, what is that? Oh, that's like greenery. Okay. Well, it didn't really work out. Um. Let's see what else. We'll. S love the in uh, the Insta Live baking you did with Melissa. Those um were like the texture of dog biscuits, but I ate seven today, so apparently that's not a thing. Um, do you guys have any other questions about season three? Any good ones? You guys have been asking some great questions. Um, what media is getting me through quarantine? You know what? I just started watching the um, uh, Chef's Table, and I saw, um, I cannot remember her name, Christina, I highly, highly recommended the woman that makes a barbacoa. barbacoa. It's, she has this incredible immigrant story that I think uh, is important. I mean, I think Vida does that as well. It shows um, just the reality of 
what an immigrant is and how hard people work to be able to get to where we are. And um, I don't know, I, it, was, it was a really powerful thing and I'm happy to see those stories. Um, all right, hold on. All right, if any of y'all like repost some Vila, hashtag stars at home painting with me, um, I will send one of you this um, amazing. Oh wait, there's, oh, I missed a tree. Okay, I'm missing it. Really trying to make this work. How do I do this? Um, okay. But you guys have to tell people about the show. Tag, tag us, tag me the stars, and I will get the, get this uh, Bob Bob Ross Michelle Proud original um, to you. Vida in the wilderness. All right, let's go through a few more questions before we log off. The scene where e Emma scoots into the Nico with her cuddle session was super fucking cute. It was our first glimpse of seeing Emma letting down her walls and you killed it. Thank you. Um, we shot that in two goes and it was, it was a really, it was really sweet. It's just like intimacy being so much more than just sex and so often just letting yourself be held is um, probably one of the most intimate things that you can do and especially for someone who probably has never really been held in their lives in that way. I think it was really, really cute. So I'm glad y'all like that. Um, let's see. Oh, shout out to Tim. Yacht Club. Um, I want to say I love Visa. It's so personal to me. This is Ivan Go For. And thank you for making such a fabulous show. I'm going to miss it. And I'm lucky to watch it all the time. And we're so lucky to have it. And I'm glad that it makes it. What am I drinking? Oh, yeah. Um, you know, it's been it's been a bit um, quarantine, man. It's a thing. So I'm, I'm drinking pina coladas. And I'm wearing a bata. Because apparently now I'm like a abuelita in training. Um, let's see what... What do I want for the future of Emma? I think she gets a bit of it. Um, I want her to release the idea of what, uh, the way she thinks things should go. Like, I think even, I mean, not to be corny, but like now it's like you have plans. All of us had plans for this few months and the way we thought this year was gonna go. And sometimes you just have to kind of let go and, and see where life takes you. And I would like to see that. And I think we see a little bit of that whole season. You guys will have to tune in to check out um, <laughs> Diet Garcia wants to know if there's any single ladies here. Yeah, if any of y'all want to like do, oh my god, you know what you guys should do? You guys can meet in this little chat thing, um, and then maybe you guys can watch Vila together, April 26th. Okay. Please recommend a good wine. I'm so not a wine person. Let's see, let's see. Dodgers, yes. Have you met the cast of Outlander and what are they like? Um, I have met the cast of Outlander and I have a funny story with Sam Hegan, which is he came, who plays um, one of the characters on Outlander, for those of you that are familiar with the show. Hold on, I gotta get into the yellow of this. Um, so when, I, when, I, when he first came to LA to uh, start auditioning for shows, um, he, we had a mutual friend and I was essentially sleeping on my friend's couch and he would come and, uh, I would, you know, we'd kind of hang out and I helped him with the self tape here and there. So it's a funny little thing to kind of be, uh, now both on stars shows and just this wonderful circumstance of life, I guess. Um, any burnt umber, the blue mean, okay. I don't even know what umber is. Let's be clear, all right? Oh, okay. I don't, um, <laughs> this isn't really working. All right, um, <laughs> let's see how uh, we figure this out because we're reaching the end of this, but there's brown. So hopefully that's like in the world of umber. Maybe if I mix it with uh, orange, I might do it together at the same time. This. Um, Maybe red, yellow, 
Okay, I'm just gonna use these three at the same time and maybe that's like a, um, we're gonna move this to the bottom. So what I like to do when I'm um, painting to unwind is I just like to use my hands and blend it in and I feel like it adds an, a, a realist, uh, surrealist, East Coast, West Coast sympathetic um, look to the, the, the island in the, in the woods. All right, so did your cookies survive the night? They, uh, you know, I, I am quarantining with my sister, so she ate quite a bit. Um, I ate seven today, uh, and I was completely disgusted by their texture because I thought they were kind of like dog biscuits. I'm not a baker, that's the thing. I actually love to cook, but baking is not the same. And uh, I ate seven today, so. Not even sorry. All right, let's see. We are almost, yeah, we're almost reaching the end. We're gonna see how I did at the end. Uh, does Nico break your heart in season three? I think it's kind of impossible for someone else to fully break your heart. I think Emma finds, finds herself in a much better place by allowing herself to love. I think also we mirror a little bit of the cruise idea, which is nobody's ever gonna live up to this ideal. So I think it's season two, we see this like knight in shining armor uh, aspect and you also see who you present to the world. And uh, we get to see a little bit of what's behind that mask for Nico. So yeah, I mean, come on, it's Vila. Like no, no, nothing's gonna work out completely, but in the end it all works out. Um, are we going to meet any new characters this season? Um, do we need any new characters? Oh, we have some drag kings that I think will be really, really, really fun to, uh, to play with. And I don't even know how I totally forgot this. We meet the girl's dad, who is alive. And we know, know that from the end of season two. And that's a big deal. And we're going to see how that goes down. Um, all right, let's see. Do you think Lynn and Emma's relationship progresses through that season? Yeah, I mean, they're, we're going to see both of them. We're going to see sides to both of them that we haven't seen before. And we're going to see both of them figure this out. Um, all right, let me go a little bit towards the bottom and see if there's any... Oh, I get it. You were asking me for wine recommendations because it was a reference to the wine. Yeah, okay. You know, I can paint and I can, that's about a, a one thing at a time. I did put that girl in her place, but we do see her, season three, and she, it's, 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 she's a big deal. Um, I'm about to start rewatching Anticipation season three. I'm so excited to experience season one and two. Yes, and if you haven't seen it already, please, uh, look watch it and i know we have a lot of riverdale people on here as i can see so i would really suggest you guys see it uh all right let's see let's see if we are all right all right well look wait i mean we're almost done here we're about to see okay give me give me like two seconds to kind of on the other hand this has been a great way of being flexible with what we have on hand apply to other quarantine life issues. Much love out there. Yes. Um, okay, we're getting close to like the end of this. If you guys have any final questions, please feel free to, to put them through. All I can say is we are so proud of this third season. Um, prouder than I am of this painting. <laughs> but uh, I'm so excited for you guys to see it because it is the most fun season that we had. I had the most fun shooting this. And I feel like we're gonna really see some great, great, great opportunities for um, just conversations. The same thing that we saw in like season two, we're gonna get to do that. Um, and all right, I think we're, I, mean, I don't know, how are we looking? Does this look, look similar to, is it? <laughs> Looks, um, yeah? I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? All right. Well, um, can I do a post when we have to do to win your artwork? 
All right, you know what? I'm gonna come up with a good idea. Somebody can win this, but it's gonna re require posting. It's gonna require telling people about the third season. Uh, but we're we're gonna figure this out because um, this is yes. All right, we reached the end. All right, y'all. Well, I hope that this was. Um, you know, it was, it was fun. And thanks so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for the support that you guys have given the show. Um, and I really am sending so much love to all of us in this time. I think it's an important time to um, come together and to really care for each other and to reflect on what's important. I know that I, for one, am so grateful for the luxury of being able to be home. Um, two years ago, if this had happened, I wouldn't have been able to. And, um, you know, I've been my mom, uh, I've been able to kind of keep her at home. And two years ago, that wouldn't have happened. And she has an autoimmune disease. So it would have been really scary. So I my heart is with you. And um, just know that uh, we're gonna get through this all together. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for supporting our show. And and we'll figure out who's gonna get this somebody.